Sup people, Mike here, and this is Batman Arkham Knight, New Game Plus, and Oracle's not dead. Um, like I said when I first played through and they had her shoot herself, I instant, instantly was like, nah, there's no way she's actually dead. It's Scarecrow's toxin fucking with Batman's head, making him think she killed herself. Um... So, coming into this area when you get the the, the backup Batmobile, um, I had pretty much a full rocket special, and I just used it to take out a bunch of these tanks. Um, and because you're using the remote control, um, for the Batmobile, you can't get too far away from where Batman actually is, otherwise um, you get like kind of like the, the static screen effect and um, I don't know if the game will automatically fail you if you go too far away. Um, I never really let it happen. But once you, um, Not while he can use him to get to me. once you get rid of all the the tanks and the the helicopter drones, um, you need to take Barbara back to the GCPD. Um, and then from there, you need to go to the Clock Tower because there's a bunch of enemies over there. And you basically have just like a predator room with one of the um, minigun brutes. Uh, there's one medic, um, a couple goons, and one of the guys with the uh, with the the predator drone. Um, you want to download the control to the drone. And you want to try and get the medic with the drone. Um, you, depending on like where the drone is, you can usually get the medic and the guy controlling the drone. With the possibility of a third guy if they're close enough. Um, I only ended up getting the medic and the guy controlling it. Um, but the other thing you want to do is that you want to uh, use the the weapons gun to disable the the brute's minigun, since the last thing you want is him um, putting a whole bunch of shots into you. But pretty much the rest of this video is just that predator section at this point in the game with almost two playthroughs at this point um, getting through these predator areas are really no issue and I don't think I mentioned it previously because I think I've always cut out when I've been the GCPD does anyone know why that fucking uh, cop is glowing green I've never been able to figure out why he's glowing green um, it confused the fuck out of me the first time I was playing through because I was just like, why is this guy green? And at first I thought it was like the game like had glitched on me and the guy was just randomly green for no reason. But when I got to New Game Plus and sure enough the guy was uh, glowing green and... Um, oh, that's right, I almost I, I completely forgot. Um, two of these towers have snipers on them, so you want to take them out before you actually go towards the clock tower to deal with all the other guys. Um, thankfully neither one of them actually will look to your sniper 
so you don't need to worry about um, getting uh, getting shot by them but once you take out the two snipers like I said um, use the drone to take out the medic and um, and the operator and do you know disable the the brute's minigun and, um, just deal with all the other guys however you are used to doing whether it's all silent a fear takedown you know whatever whatever you're used to doing and I will let the rest of this video play out and I'll see you in the next video to get closer. What's the calibration on that drone? Don't worry, he so much as breathes, this thing will find him.
as their last man as they quake in terror at the creature strikes in the dark. This is how you like your prey. We both use fear dark night, but only one of us understands it. Do you take pride in what you have reduced them to? The mewling babes your assault has exposed. I will do that to you, Dark Knight. I will peel back every layer of the Batman before the night is through. Oracle, the clock tower.